pizza time. Sadoods! Welcome to Operation Parabellum. Here's the video that will summarize all of the cool stuff from the patch notes, so your short attention span adult brain won't have to read them for yourself. Meet Alibi e Maestro. One of them I'd pass, one of them I'd smash. Let's start with the Roamer. Alibi is a 3-speed, equipped with some Mega Mix Rubik's Cubes that turn into an image of herself, standing completely straight and in one direction. If you shoot or walk through these projections on foot or with a drone, you'll get tagged in a jackalich sort of style. She's also got a fast-firing and pretty powerful little SMG. The second operator, Maestro, is a three-armored anchor type with a big bag of tricks. He's got two cameras that he can attach to just about any surface that can rotate on a spherical axis. Hold down right-click to fire the deadly laser. While firing its deadly laser, it can be shot out with bullets. Otherwise, it can be destroyed with explosives or sledges hammer. Maestro is the first defender to get access to a machine gun, and it's f fucking hilarious. The AT. Come on, Gregor. <laughs> Gregor, Gregor, stop cheating. <laughs> I'm not trying! <laughs> oh, so close! Both of the Italians get access to some unique weapons. The ACS-12 Wall Eraser. It's fully automatic, has a 30-round magazine. There's also some interesting handguns. A typical high-powered revolver that makes the French 44 feel a little bit uncomfortable and a shotgun revolver, this handy-dandy bailiff. Great for roamers, and conversely, unlimited hatch destruction. We also got a new map, Villa. It's supposedly built from the ground up to get right into the rank rotation. I highly encourage you to do a little bit of exploring on your own time and see what cool stuff you can find. Many of its floors are spammable, with lots of staircases and verticality without seeming clustered or slapped together. There's gonna be a good deal of runouts, though. Just a fair warning. <laughs> There's another one! What the fuck is that? Clubhouse also received the first Siege map rework ever. Okay, yeah, you nope. piss this shit. <laughs> That's taken the piss now. Echo has been reworked a little bit too. He now has two yokai drones, but they only fire two shots and the recharge time for each shot was increased. Thick boys have also picked up the pace, and fast boys have slowed down a little bit. Average boys are the same as they were. And since we're CSGO but better, players can now run with their handguns out for a little bit more movement speed. This only applies to handguns, not machine pistols and the like. We've also got Pick and Ban for the Pro League season and custom games. In a game with so many characters like Siege, I feel like this change will add a little bit more strategy to team compositions, but at the same time, Mira and Hibata mains might want to find someone else to play. Remember that bulletproof camera I mentioned earlier? Well, now Frost, Doc, Mute, Castle, Cavera, and Vigil all get one too. It attaches to a surface and has thermal vision. Unlike Maestro's Evil Eye, this thing can still be shot from the side as the bulletproof plating is only on the front, but at a choke point, it can be a serious nuisance. Welcome to the Intel meta. You'll get an iPad to defuse the bomb now, and switching between camera devices is now much, much easier. Oh my god. In other news, Thatcher got a face reveal that looks much better in the key art than it does in-game. <laughs> 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 Also, say goodbye to Bulo peeking and drop shotting. That is, unless you've got Maestro's LMG. Biohazard. Take some fire, fire. Oh, oh my god, Gregor. You're so fucking toxic. Check out my Twitch in the description. Until next time, deuces. Run. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.